थ्री टू वन ओ माई गॉड इट्स वर्किंग दिस वीडियो इज इंटेंडेड ओनली फॉर एडुकेशनल एंड एक्सपेरिमेंटल पर्पज सो ट्राइड ओनली ऑन योर होम नेटवर्क टू गेट स्टार्टेड वी नीड द नोट एम सी यू वाई फाई मॉड्यूल विच इज अ पॉपुलर आई ओ टी डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड इट हैज एन इंटीग्रेटेड ई एस पी एट टू सिक्स सिक्स चिप इट्स क्वाइट स्मॉल इन साइज एंड रियली इजी टू प्रोग्राम वी नीड द आर डी नो आई डी टू प्रोग्राम द वाई फाई मॉड्यूल फर्स्ट वी नीड टू एड सपोर्ट फॉर द ई एस पी एट टू सिक्स बोर्ड फ्रॉम द बोर्ड मैनेजर द रिक्वायर्ड वर्जन इज टू पॉइंट ओ पॉइंट ओ अदर वर्जन मे नॉट वर्क एज डिजायर वंस द आई डी इज रेडी वी विल ओपन द प्रोजेक्ट फाइल्स Now it's time to connect the Wi-Fi module to the computer and upload the code. Once the code is successfully uploaded, our Wi-Fi jammer is ready. So, let's see it in action. Here we are giving power to the module using a power bank. As you can see, the Wi-Fi module consumes very less amount of power. Hence, using a single charge of the power bank, it can run continuously for days. If you open the list of available Wi-Fi networks, we can find the network of the Wi-Fi module named Pond. We connect to it and open the dashboard of the Wi-Fi jammer. There are a number of tabs here, namely APs for access points, stations, attack, and settings. First, we have to scan the available Wi-Fi access points. As you can see, it has detected my home network. I will now select this network and head over to the attacks tab. Here we have a few options available. In this video, I am going to talk about deauthentication attack and beacon spam. Deauth attack will disconnect all the connected devices from the Wi-Fi network. As you can see, here the Wi-Fi network is already selected. When I start the deauth attack, the LED on the Wi-Fi module starts to glow to indicate an attack in progress. After a few moments, all the devices are disconnected from the network now by heading over to the stations tab we can also select the devices we want to disconnect from the network this way you can prevent unwanted devices from connecting to your wifi beacon spam is another interesting feature using it we can create a large list of fake wifi networks to make it difficult for others to discover our home network once i start the beacon spam a large number of fake wifi networks become available it's quite difficult to tell the real one from this huge list so that's it for today see you in my next video till then goodbye